Right-hander Zach Gallen out there tonight facing Kansas City for the first time in his career. And in seven starts this year, Zach has given up a total of only five runs. Yeah, he has been special this season. Line fair up the right field line. Oh, yeah. And Witt will slide into second base with a game opening double. Oh, yeah. Witt, nice piece of hitting there. Seventh double. Watch him go with it, just like we're saying. Two good swings, slider uh, stayed up enough, and Witt says, I got a pretty good idea. That's what he's going to do. Look at the abbreviated swing. Ben Intendi, good chance here to get him over and in. Look out, Zach Gallen. Lines it to Perdomo when they double off Merrifield. Well, that worked out nicely. Merrifield trying to make a big nuisance of himself back there, and quickly it's bases empty and two down. Just the way you draw it up, right? Give up a leadoff double and then a smoked line drive Third up the middle of the field right seven. at Perdomo. Bobby. Fortunately, able to get the glove underneath that one. And it'll be Jonathan Heasley making his third start and going for his first win. Let's hope the offense can supply him here. They're facing a really tough guy, but you know what, though? You have to attack. You have to go at it. Marshall leads it off, batting 262 and seven home runs. And this is driven deep to center. Blanco back it up, back it up. And that one's gone. A leadoff home run for Dalton Varsho and the Diamondbacks strike first. Well, we'll just take a page out of their playbook. Yeah, why not? Wow, that made a great noise off the bat. The ball has sounded different the last couple of days. There's no getting around it. Yeah, and I, I took a, a survey along press row, and everybody agreed. The pitch by Jonathan, ground ball short. Lopez goes second one, first base, two, a double play, and that gets the Royals out of any further trouble. And the batter will be M.J. Melendez. Oh, that ball is absolutely crushed to right field and way back into the bleachers. That sounded like a cannon blast. Woo. And that's just the second home run all year hit against Zach Gallen. And the Royals come right back and take a 2-1 lead in the second inning. Oh, my. Man, was that ball tattered and battered. Heasley has walked the bases loaded in the second. You've given Varsho a golden opportunity. You have to love this matchup. Now, First pitch to Varsho. In the dirt, it gets away from Melendez, and a run is going to score. McCarthy comes home on the wild pitch, and the D-backs have tied the game at two. What a great secondary that time, and a great read by McCarthy. Curveball in the dirt, and, I mean, immediately he was coming in to score. It didn't get really very far outside the dirt circle. Benintendi hit a line shot to the shortstop Perdomo in the first inning, which ended up being a double play. Off the end of the bat, and that's up the left field line. That'll get Merrifield to third, and Benintendi's right behind him with a double. And the Royals have runners at second and third with one out. I just love how he spreads the whole field out. You can't really defend him any other way but straight up, but they play him to pull. Look at that great. Action is lower body is able to go down and get it. Bobby Witt Jr. is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball hit hard to short. Infield playing back. So the shortstop will throw to first. That'll drive it a run. And the Royals have the lead. It's 3 to 2. Bobby Witt Jr. with a ground out to shortstop. Drives in his 18th. Merrifield scores from third base. Benintendi still at second with now two down. 111 exit velo. <laughs> Once again, we showed you already. So one on one out for Ryan O'Hearn. That one kicks away from Dalton. There's the strikeout. And Santana moves up. First base occupied, so he's automatically out. Runner advances at his own risk. A good pitch to get the strike three on the hitter. Unfortunately, Dalton Varsho, in his effort to block it, looked like it climbed right up off his chest protector and rico ricocheted over toward the on deck circle. Just the second strikeout for Gallon. 3 2 Kansas City, top four, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to chase a curveball that time, and I think he may have got Varsha with the backswing. Second time that at bat, he got him. Down on strikes is Blanco, and the inning is over. David Peralta leads off the bottom of the fourth. David, a strikeout victim his first time. He drives one to deep left center field. Back to the fence. Gone. Tie game. David Peralta's tear continues with his eighth home run of the year, and the D-backs in Kansas City are even at three. Fastball out over the plate. And he was willing to go with the pitch and just served it right over the left center field wall. It's so easy when he does that. Well, you have to feel so good for David, who struggled so badly last year. It'll be interesting the approach they have with MJ Melendez. Melendez does have a home run in this ball game. Melendez pulls one deep to right field, and it's off the wall. 
Here's Junior around third. And no throw on a relay. And MJ Melendez has driven in three. And the Royals have taken the lead again. Exactly what they needed. Another big hit. And Melendez has stayed with the changeup again, but this one was elevated. The other two weren't. So he got a changeup, and he reached out, got him, and hooked it just enough, get it over his head and, and off the wall. Now the 0-1. And a bouncer over the pitcher and into center field. One run is in as Dozier scores. And here comes Melendez to score. And the rookie, Dyrone Blanco, drives in two. His first two big league RBIs give the Royals a three-run cushion. It's six to three. Loop low the hitter, two on and two out, down six to three. Loop low, way back, way out of here, and way gone. We are tied at six. They've come back again. Oh boy, did he clobber that one. Well, we know Jordan Luplo is here to do damage against lefties, but he's had a number of at bats against right handed pitching, and he just destroyed that fastball. Yeah, he did. Woo. Over the bullpen. Wow. The sixth of the year for Jordan Luplo, and we're tied at six in the sixth. Well, now you got a chance to take the lead. Varsho is the go ahead run at second, two down for Paven Smith. Paven Smith! Fly ball! Right field! Hey, it's gone! Wow! That's the fourth lead change in the ball game. Diamondbacks have hit four home runs. Oh, a hanging changeup stayed on the inside part of the plate, mid thigh. Pavin just doesn't miss that pitch. Another one, two. Look out! Whoa! Oh, what a grab! Cattell Marte! A rocket off the bat, a Hunter Dozier. Boy, that ball was smoked up the middle. Wow. It almost went through the webbing of the glove. It was right. hit so hard. Right-hander Mark Melanson, a couple of saves against the Cubs, numbers eight and nine on the year as he continues working his way back to form. Right back to the mound. Ball game. Diamondbacks take both games from Kansas City. It's an eight to six win. Your Diamondbacks are now back over 500.